What do Sentinel pilots eat for lunch? Alien, PB, and J. Nice. Mario movie hype? Uh, I mean, the boys are really hyped for it, but I don't know if I'm hyped for it. I like the trailers. I thought it was surprisingly decent looking, but reviews are a bit mixed on it. But it's, first of all, it's hard to trust reviewers without knowing like their history or whatever. Like consensus can be met fairly easily. Um, but it's even harder for reviewers to review a kid's movie, I think. Like, if the vast majority of reviewers are not the target audience of something, how does that work exactly? Do the kids watch it? No, we haven't seen it yet. Good kids' movies can still be enjoyed by adults. Yeah, of course, but not as much. Untrue? I hate to pull the as a parent card. <laughs> Maybe you are also a parent. But there's a lot of media that's made just for kids. Like, a lot. Reviewers would review for the parent, surely? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's what they're doing, no. Joe, do you like Peppa Pig? I hate Peppa Pig. I hate Peppa Pig so much. Shibu, Shibu Gaki City Battle 5. This is a boss battle. What does that mean? Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju will appear. Alright. So, Kaiju is like fish, right? You can say fish, and you might be talking about a fish, or you might be talking about multiple fish. So, here the language is a bit unclear. Is there gonna be one big sentinel gladiator kaiju? Or will there be one, or will there be multiple sen sentinel uh, gladiator kaiju? Oh, it's, it's actually called a sentinel. So is it like an infected sentinel that we have? Hmm. Where was the one where they made factories? Many ground kaiju will appear. Maybe it's just one, because it says, it says horde many, usually there is some sort of uh, indicator. Modified mobile factory RPF kaiju will appear. Okay, never mind. That there was more than one when that happened. Never mind. No fan art. Uh, when I last looked at the fan art, there was only two in there. So usually I don't do fan art. There's only two. If a bunch came in last I checked, I think I checked around noon. I checked on Jads. Maybe it was earlier than that. So I like sorry without doing fan art. All right, so we're gonna be doing Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju will appear. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. All right, go to on the strike team. I kind of want to take both the G1s. Shinomi with the double sentry gun might be pretty good to take here. Do we want to take one of each? It's usually good to take one of each. Super big missile might be pretty good to take. You know what? Super big missile doesn't do that much damage, actually. All right, what does Gotu have? Gotu has element of surprise. Who's the one that ha who deals more damage the fewer people there are? Is it is it Yuki? Yeah, all right, we can't take Yuki, unfortunately. Although we could, leg spike's really good. Fine. Understood. All right, let's try one of each. So who do we want to take from Gen Three? Tomi's been pretty good lately. Super long range missiles is pretty good. Oh, we have a lot of meta chips. Holy shit! And we have Ogata on the strike team. That's pretty good. All right, I don't know if this is a good team or not, but let's let's go for it. All right, let's uh let's upgrade the sentry gun maybe. That's gonna do like further distance. It also does 50 more power. Eventually he'll notice the upgrade bars. These red things that are above this thing that makes we have a different one. Yeah, maybe one day. Demo blade will do two more attacks. Okay, what are we gonna be using? We're gonna be using interceptors on go to pretty much the whole entire time, and then leg spike in a pinch if we if we need to. But it's pretty much gonna be interceptors the whole time. For you, it's probably going to be super long range missiles and main battery uh, rail gun whenever whenever we there's there's one one thing left. So we can upgrade that a little bit. For you, it's going to be sentry gun. Let's upgrade sentry gun. All right. So now you have we have set, how how far does this go? All right, what do we get for getting this to level four? High performance charger arm armament has been unlocked. EP recovery time reduced and recovery amount increased while defending. Uh, okay. I, I don't think we're really gonna use that, but limiter removal. This seems really good, but also really, really difficult to use. Like really risky. Durability drops to one third. That's so much damage, but attack and speed doubles. That's so good though. Let's upgrade Demo Blade, because I enjoy Demo Blade. Okay, now let's go over and upgrade Interceptors. Let's get all, all the ones we're going to use to level 6. Also, let's upgrade Leg Spike. Whoa, what happened there? EMP Spikes. Oh, they didn't have a red thing. Okay, so if I upgrade this, 
Will it just give something new? Like if I do that. Cyber attack missiles armament unlocked. Fires missiles at Kaiju in target area and hijacks their, uh, their AI. That seems pretty good. Okay, we have everything up to level six. Level six. Uh, super long range missiles needs to be upgraded for sure. All right, you're level five. Let's upgrade the, the, the rail gun. And go to, let's upgrade the leg spike because I enjoy the leg spike. Okay, so that drops uh, aerial kaiju. Okay, do we want to upgrade anything in the terminal or the meta system? Okay, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Immediately allows all, oh, that's really good. Oh man, that's awesome. That's really good. Holy shit, why have I not been using that? Doubles all allies move speed for 30 seconds. Is it worth it just to get all of these things just, just so we have them if there's ever a situation where we're like, oh shit, that would, it would be really good to have it? Yeah, like these type 98 ones, like I have no idea. Maybe these are awesome. Plants a gravity field target for eight seconds, pulling Kaiju toward it. Mm, halves damage to Sentinel support armaments in range for 30 seconds. Is that, what's the range? Recovers 30% of all allies EP. That might be pretty good if we need something desperately. Let's do that as well. All right, so now we have, now we have a couple more. Okay, and is there anything else we can upgrade real quick? Guardian? Guardian's not bad. Like, she's gonna be cap sentry guns pretty fast. Maybe cyber attack missiles. Should we try it? What if they're really good? Like, who knows? Maybe they're awesome. Alright, and you have nothing else to, to get, right? Flare torpedo, multi-lock missiles. Yeah, let's just, let's just do, uh... uh... I also finished Dredge. Not sure if I can recommend it. It kind of uh, turned into something else. If I was to make a video on Dredge, I think it would it'd be called Dredge, a great bait and switch. What a title. What was the end of Dredge like? It sure did end. End wasn't too bad, actually. Dymo signatures, look there. Warning, Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Uh, are those sentinels? Are they on our side? They look like first gen models, but they're giving off dino signatures. Okay, what? Ha Most likely, they're the first generation units we lost in the battle at Sector 2. So they were seized and repurposed? Repurposed. Well, it may be more accurate to say they were reset. Oh, we stole them from when the Kaiju. To deploy automated sentinels. They behaved as if they were Dimos. During the battle at Sector 2, units 1 to 11 were being remotely controlled by me. You piloted 11 units by yourself? At the same time? It wasn't efficient. And the D-forces were clearly influencing their processes and abilities. And that's why we directly control them now. Too many problems with automation. I mean, it wasn't really automation if he was controlling them. Right? Yeah, whatever. I thought they were destroyed in that battle. I don't know if it's that simple. Juro, what do you mean by that? Look, they're coming. They seem like pretty heavy units. And they've even got the composite ceramic armor. Uh-oh. So they're close quarters Dymos frontliners now. If we don't shut them down, the terminal won't last. <coughs> An enemy sentinel gladiator nullifies all attacks and inflict damage of 300 or lower. Deliver attacks that deal high damage with each blow. Okay, um... Doesn't Demo Blade like do an insane amount of small hits? All right, to win this battle, you must destroy seven gladiators. <laughs> All right, we're fucked. All right, that does two hits of five, fifteen fifty. Okay, Demo Blade does eighty-four hits of ninety-eight. Okay, I'm really scared. However, it ignores armor, so maybe. Maybe that counts. All right, first of all, interceptor zoot. Backup deployed. Okay, can't can't reach it. Can't reach it with a back attack. All right, do we need to go? Wait, it doesn't. Does it have an arrow? Is there no back attack on this? There's no arrow. There is an arrow. Where's the arrow? I don't see an arrow. See how the other little ones have white arrows pointing where they're facing? That's what I usually look for. They don't have one. It is the arrow? Okay, I guess that makes sense. Why, why would they do that? Okay, I don't know if I can get behind it. You know what? Let's, um, super long range missiles. 12 times 110. Well, that sucks. Alright, let's actually see. Will it actually not do damage? 
<laughs> oh no! Uh oh. Uh, okay. All right, let's go over here. Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. He came over. All right, back attack. All right, it said ignore armor, so this should be fine. Okay, it it did it it did something. All right, back attack. All right, this should just kill it. Okay, long range missiles. So we're gonna have to use use the railgun a lot. All right, so double shot of the railgun is gonna do um, like not that much damage, but I think it's all it's all we have, man. Yeah, oh, man. It's bad. All right, what if we do a cyber attack missile? Can we hijack the AI with Sentinel? That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be so good? What if we do a Guardian to distract it? All right, we uh, we're we're we have a really really bad team for this chat. This is a really really bad team for what we're trying to do right now. All right, all right, you know what? Let's just defend. The interceptors are gonna kill it. Yeah. All right. Oh man, five more. <laughs> so... What the fuck? We can't afford to hold anything back. Don't try to take them down by yourself. Stay in close formation and rely on your allies. All right, let's see. What's here? G ground shield shits, golems, little shits. Uh, a big sentinel ground things. All right. Uh, do we want to kill this before we do the EMP, or do we just launch with an E? Let's just do an EMP. What do I do? All right. Now we now we go demo blade like all this shit over here because this is the only way we're gonna get any value out of demo blade. All right. I can hit these three. No, that's that's dead. Oh, that's an interceptor. That's one of mine. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, you know what? Maybe it's better to go over here and hit all this shit. These are twin tails. Hmm. Alright, do you have a better attack? No, we don't. Alright. Let's, um... Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to do the, the cyber attack missiles on, on some of these shits over here and see what happens. Let's try it. Like, what happens? Alright, so we hacked their AI. Alright, it did, it did nothing. Alright, you need to move the fuck away to defend. Alright. So, what's my next move? All right, super long range missiles over here. This just kills everything over here, right? It's dead. We win. GG. Honestly, kind of. All right. All right, that kills everything over here. That's pretty good. All right, what are you guys doing over here right now? All right, you you got knocked way over there. All right. What now? Uh oh. <laughs> this is really bad. Like Alright, hit it from behind. Alright, that's a back attack. Alright, go for it. Come on. Oh, it's so little damage, man. Alright, super long range missiles is going to kill... Like, it's not going to kill all this, actually. Alright, maybe railgun? I don't know what to do. Alright, that hits all four of those. And it hits twice. Is anyone else up? No. All right, super long range missiles does a lot of damage to these shits here, and it won't do any damage to the to the Sentinel though, the enemy Sentinel. But it will kill whatever the fuck is going on over there with the uh, with the apps, app, 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 SOS. Do I want to do an EMP first? Oh, what are these 98 bipods? What's that? Let's try it. All right, I feel like it's not gonna kill the blue ones. Let's find out. Yeah, it did. It did okay, actually. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, the, the, oh, you know what? Let's let's heal EMP. Thirty percent. Is that even is that even gonna be enough for for this? All right, we did it. It's not. We just get a cyber attack missile. 
All right, do we want a guardian? I think we want to save up for more sentry guns, actually. Let's defend. Actually, how much we... I don't think we're going to survive that long. Well, we've got nothing else to do. Okay, what now? Okay, demo blade on this guy. All right, there's some ground ones over here. We want an EMP attractor. Oh, you know what? We don't. We want to use uh, EMP here. There we go. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have used it for it to do another turn instead. Alright, so this is going to deal damage to these two and then deal damage to the Sentinel. Alright, that wasn't a bad... That wasn't a bad hit there. Alright, so now we have Leg Spike, which is the MVP of this of this round. Leg Spike over here. Alright, do I want to rush attack over here and, and knock these Sentinels or, or what? Back attack on this thing. Maybe a leap attack instead. What does leap attack do? Leap attack is let me leap over here and defend maybe. Alright, now super long range missiles. No, it doesn't work. Just long range missiles maybe? I wanna wipe out all this shit. Can I hit all of them? Alright, looks like I do. Alright. Alright, so it's just sentinels left now apart from the barrels that are coming over there. All right, leg spike. Leg spike, let's... Okay, what the fuck are you doing? All right, leg spike. Let's kill one. All right. Well, this, this is uh, this is quite the, uh, the fucking uh, difficulty spike chat. What the hell? All right, let's do some more sentry guns. Or do we want a guardian instead? Let's go sentry guns. All right, I don't have any more meta 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 things over here. Wait, what's this? Wait, I can unlock it while I'm in here? Oh, wow. All right, super long range missiles is going to be able to kill those things over there, but honestly, there's only one left. So I want to do I want to do railgun. I want to do railgun on um if I do railgun on this guy right here, go to might be able to kill it next turn. I wish I could hit more than one. Is it worth it to move to hit more than one with the railgun? I don't think so. It's going to be too clunky. She's really slow, right? Oh, we can hit more than one right now. Hold on. She's in the air. All right, here we go. Okay? All right, leg spike you because you're the closest one. Are you also the lowest one? No, you're pretty low, actually. All right, we might kill you if we if we attack you. Hmm. But then uh, Ogata won't have anything to hit next turn. I'm going this guy. I'm in range. That easy. Yes! All right. All right, Demo Blade, why are you stuck? What, what the hell is this? Do do? What do you mean you can't move? What, what do you mean? Why can't he move? He got EMP, did he? When did he get EMP? I didn't even know they could EMP. Where Where does it say that? Is there like a debuff? Is it gonna tell me where it's gonna run out or no? Okay. Right All right, you you are scaring the shit out of me right now. All right, let's, uh, yeah, leg spike. Let's let's do, the, do this one right here. Okay, railgun. All right, that hits. That hits. That kills the sentinel, and also hits the two behind it. I don't think there's a better play than this. All right, that's good. All right, guardian. Guardian on this guy right here. Right, for sure. Oh no! All right, why can't I leap attack, man? Seriously. This is terrible. Is he bugged? I'm right here. All right, leg spike. I think on on this one over here. Leg spike over here. Leg spike early. Leg spike often. How's this? Hit. All right. How are you not dead? All right. He's about to land on the guardian. I don't really care about that, do I? I don't care about the Guardian. Wait, is he gonna do damage to Gota below? Probably not. I think we need to start doing damage to this dude over here. All right, let's do it. All right, you can finally move. That's good, all right. Fucking hell, man. All right, let's, oh, you're dead. All right, can we get to you? No, we can't. Wait, hold on. No, Here's let's move. Now, the last one. Oh, now, then. 
All right, are you close enough now? Yeah, all right. I think, I think, oh, we got back attack. All right, okay, you know what? At least we did it, all right? I was worried we weren't even gonna do it. I don't care what ranking we got. At least we got through it. Is it not over? Holy shit. I didn't realize how much I was relying on Demo Blade. I can take that so off. True power is being restrained. What would happen if that limiter came off? Uh, double damage, double speed, but they take uh, like three times more damage or whatever. Yeah. You'll get a huge boost in maneuverability. Yeah, there you go. It'll put an incredible strain on the pilot too. A small price for new power, and nothing a true son of Japan can't handle. <laughs> Sounds like it might have its advantages anyway. I'll have to let Sekigahara and Ogata know. I guess we did it. Okay, Agata took took a beating here, man. I don't know if we're getting an S. What was the time? Oh, Ryoko took a hit too? When did oh, Ryoko get hit? Oh man, the leg spike really carried. Leadership. Oh, oh it's over 10%! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! S. That was hard. All right, what's this one? Many modified drum mine kaiju will appear. All right, I never really understood those. I thought I could knock them back and they would explode, but every time, single time I hit them, it didn't do anything. Maybe I have to specifically do like a certain ability to them to like make them crash into other kaiju? I don't know. Anyway, what was the new ones that we got? Come on, come on. Rush attack power increases whenever attack hits kaiju. 800 times four. Oh, I wonder if that would have been better. No, it like it depends on how much it got got boosted up. It still would have went through the armor. Maybe that would have been better. The other one ignores armor though, but it's it felt like it didn't ignore the armor actually. Not dead yet. Who else did we take? We took Tomi, get lost, and then we took Gota. When defending increases all defense, all increases all stats of the strike team. That's pretty good. Alright. Hijiyama Miura on strike team. Hijiyama Miura. Oh, we can do it! That's good. Alright. That's really good. I'm happy about that. Got it. Yuki. All right. Okay. I think we unlocked something. That yeah, we unlocked this one. All right. Let's finish Ogata's, or let's see if it'll let us finish Ogata's. Hey. I guess when you put it like that. Oh, we're back here. Maybe you've got a point. Wait, what? I should slow down and think a little. This time, this is the reality. Still, though. I just, I want to make sure you're going to be safe, Kisaragi. Jeez, why do you sound so serious all of a sudden? If you're going back, then I'm coming with you. Mm. I got something I got to do. Just wait right here a sec. Oh, sure. That big robot. Well, the Sentinel. If I could just pilot that thing. If this crazy loop does eventually become reality, maybe I could at least beat down a couple kaiju. Ooh. Gotta be oh, Kino's here. Oh, -kun. What's wrong? Oh, Kino's here. Looks like it worked. Get out of my way. Just you and me, Tsukasa Okino. Can't run this time. Last time, I got out of this place by chasing him. Oh, this is the plan. Okay. Oh, is this when Yakisoba Pond Angel came and shot um, Hijiyama? Hijiyama? Hey, what's wrong? Can't move, huh? Over here, hurry! She's more badass than I am. Okay, so the cat is definitely not working with Okino. I thought Okino was connected to the cat. So there's at least at least two different factions that work here, maybe even three. At least it could be way more than that. 
there's it's got to be more than that all right so whatever whatever the cat is and then okino seems to be doing their own thing and then i don't think there's any relation between either of those groups with morimura's group hmm okay final battle well this was a flash forward Some way to stop them here. Won't be catching the train to school again anytime soon. Sorry, not Suno. You're out too. Wait, hold on. If that was a wait, if he was in a memory, and in the memory the kaiju attack. How does he have a memory of the kaiju attacking? What what is this? Our timing sucks, huh? We hit our operating limits at the same time. But what about the others? They're not doing great. Even Miura Kun. Miura. Number 19, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call my sentinel again. Miracoon! Reporting in. Number 19 is taking heavy damage. Sorry, I'm shifting out. They never need to rest. The assault never lets up. Everything's falling apart. I let down our defensive line. Please. Nah, we did plenty, man. We're gonna be okay. Let us handle the rest. Wish the voices were a little louder here. I've already hit my operating line. Try to get back in the fray as soon as I'm combat ready. Not to son. I'll fight your share as well, so you don't have to push yourself so hard. You really don't need to worry about me. So Shut much. up and shift. Time. Let's go. Come on. I'll go. No, your sentinel's already taken a beating. I'll handle this. Didn't you just dismount? You're already at your limit. I don't give a shit about my limits. I love you. That's why I gotta break them. Really? I, I, I... We didn't buy that upgrade though. Oh, yours is on your ankle. We didn't buy that upgrade. Ooh. That was a demo blade. to the final battle okay so that that was all of it okay cleared all right well i think i can see the cliff chat okay all right all right let's go to tomi <sighs> stranded day two huh? -chan. This is bad. what's up we're out of food we're gonna have to eat ryoko what happened Shinonome senpai she's gone I ate her! What? I only looked away for a second. What should we do, Usami chan? What should we do, Usami chan? I ate her. I, I think that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the most I have ever wanted to legitimately just like have like uh the capability of understanding Japanese more than some my head. So I could see if if it is actually that awkward and cringe in, in the original like Japanese because I can't imagine it is. What the fuck was going on in that scene, man? Like fucking Xenoblade Chronicles <laughs> like what the fuck? How far could she be? <laughs> She wasn't exactly in a state to be running any marathons. We need to find her. She might still be nearby. Probably. Let's split up and look around. Got it. Okay. I'll go check across the street. Thanks. Go get some chocolate bars. Maybe she went off to the shopping district. Okay, so she's been two days without pills. Or a day and a half. Hmm. This is the same building. Oh, we're back. Okay. Any luck? <sighs> Not a trace. <laughs> she must have gone real far. Oh, where could she have gone? I don't know what to do. So what now? Should we keep looking? Oh. Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Let's do it. It's all the way around the bend. Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. Thank you to Poops McYolo. Awesome name for the resub. Thank you, Poops McYolo. YOLO. Mm. 
New background? Yimachi Sakura High School. The hell? The north building's gone. And the schoolyard's totally caved in. Oh, look at that. Over in the pit. That another construction machine? I bet that's what dug the hole. What's the point? They trying to make a nest or something? That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Where are you going? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Yes. Maybe there's something down there, underground. Like what? More dirt? Yes. I'm just saying. All right, we're gonna find a UFO. Well, so much for this place. There's not a single person here. Let's keep looking around. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Oh, well, that was easy. Shinonome Senpai. Do 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 Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? Guess there's our answer. Run! Oh no! Serves you right. Does it? Cute guy. Hey, uh, thanks. Who are you? The name's Sekigahara. You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Are you the only ones here? Oh. Shinonome Senpai is. Well. She was there. Dude, it was just a second ago. I guess she ran away from the androids. So Ryoko-san's here too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes, quite a ways away. Now listen here. How do you know Kisaragi? <laughs> That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. So it told you about us. Sorry you got caught up in this mess. In any case, you need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. Ryoko-san was with you, correct? I thought you would have returned already. All the gates above ground are locked. I've been struggling to find my way out of here. You too? We need to go underground. The primary shifter should be there. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. They're merely access points. Underground? You mean... Under the ground? Down there? That's where we need to go? Correct. The Great Hole. Oh. Okay, we need to find Sh we need to find Shinomi first? Or did we did we did we skip all this? Okay, I'm a little I'm a little scared now. Hold on. Let's go Tommy hmm. again. Oh, okay. Well, that's content we're never gonna see again. All right. Miwako, Usami-chan. Was it just a bunch of stuff saying she's not here, she's not here, she's not here? Hard to say if we can trust this Sekigahara guy. But let's hurry. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Did you find Shinonomi Senpai? In a word, yes, but. She ran off somewhere near the school. A guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. It's 1985? Really? We came here to get you. You ready? Y yeah. This was the first time Tomi admitted that 1985 was her home. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. There's a huge crater by the school. That's where we're going. Really? Is this that robot you were talking about? Anyone else feel like Tomi and Ogata aren't really asking uh, Sekigahara enough questions? Or any questions at all? Like, 
Especially Ogata? Hmm. That's weird. Wasn't there more than one android here? Now that you mention it, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh. Ryoko-san, so you still don't remember. They're taking advantage of your hazy memory. Stop this. They really are. Get him. 426, your time is up. How can you can control the robots? They're is she kinda, trying to beat me down there? They're kind of shit. Shinonome-senpai can control the androids? She's being manipulated by the one in charge of them. We need to go after her. If she seals off the gate, it's all over. What's on your mind? That guy just now. He's cute. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. We don't have much of a choice. What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. BJ? A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. So how are we supposed to get down there? Isn't it really deep? 300 meters. That quadruped's got a crane equipped. A crane? That does sound like construction equipment. We'll use it like an elevator. It'll take us all the way to the bottom. Hmm. I wonder if this was supposed to be some sort of like like training to, to learn how to use the kaiju and that's why there's like a key to control them and it's like so when they arrived at the planet they would know how to how to use them to to, to conduct the terraforming but then something fucky happened somehow the emperor returned like something like that all right that's that's the first thought i've had that would explain why there would be a, a key or whatever but like doesn't explain why they're fighting though let's go wait for us Wait. Just talk. What in the fresh hell is this? Was it always glowing before? The floor and everything? Is this is this when it's active? I hate it when characters just don't talk. Look, the same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. Boss? This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. <sighs> Looks like something out of a movie set. Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Alright, that's not confirmed. Okay, cool. So there are, like, also robot versions of everyone? Or AI versions? Huh. Usami-chan, the way we came in is completely dark. I never want to do that again. Don't worry. We'll be home soon. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment. But she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. Still don't really understand why you using that made everyone else come here too? Are they ever gonna address that? Hopefully, because I don't really get it. Hmm. This machine. Is Morimura using it too? She's the reason we're able to use it at all. This functionality was her handiwork. Uh-oh. What could this be? Yeah, let's just touch it. going on please respond this is number 16 <sighs> number 16 that's the one who's been missing is everything okay i finally got through kisaragi what are your coordinates kisaragi that's my current location is unknown my sentinel and even myself i don't know what condition we're in <laughs> and it's gone as suddenly as it appeared that sounded like um uh, shit. Who's Emiguchi, the, the 
the girl is talking to him through the TV. It also sounded like Iori to me as well, though, so I'm not good at recognizing the voices. Sentinel number 16 went completely off the radar after that incident I mentioned. What did you do? How did you make contact? I just hit this thing here. All I did was poke this thing. What thing? Dude, do it again. Do it again? Dude. That voice from the TV screen, didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? No, not really. Hey, just now, did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is the control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because she is you, rather a different you. Huh? I get it now. Tell me Kisaragi. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. Huh? So do they each have like a like an AI version of themselves to help interface with the Sentinels and sometimes that can get split up or severed in some way? Seems like Mayura has one right now and then and then Kisaragi has one too. Kisaragi, please respond. If you're there, answer us. I managed to connect to the system and determine my location. The answer is troubling. Oh? I'm outside the world. What does that mean? This place is not recognized in any era. This is bad. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors. It's universal control. It's trying to get rid of me. What's universal control? At this rate, I'll... What's this universal thing? Universal control. It's here, where the primary gate is housed. Okay, yeah, what is it? This underground mainframe monitors the world. Okay. Alright, just glossing over that. Alright. Okay, so he doesn't know either. Alright, cool. Could have just said that Seki Gahara. Could have just said I don't know, but alright, whatever. It just closes right away now. This is bad. Oh yeah, Miwa, okay. Oh no. They're over here too. Stop. The command's not working. I'm out of ammo. We need to shift. Gather close. Now! Initiating shift. Oh, we're here this time. This is... I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet! You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. Miwako? Uh-oh! Tell me, who the hell is Miwako? What are you, gonna what are you talking about? Never was a Miwako. Kayaki chose down that way. I'll be damned. We really made it back. We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? Miwako! We must have left her behind. Let's go back. It's no use. She's not like us. The people here, everyone in the city. They're not real. We're all managed by that computer underground. Isn't that right, Akun? Hmm. To make sure no one impacts this world. To make sure no one finds out the truth. Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. What? She knew too much. What? She was too powerful. All right, I'm really upset I ate the snowman pea. Uh, we should have spoken to, to Ogata before, all right. I think I see some of the grass at the edge of the cliff, chat. I see a little bit more. All right, so we need to clear wave 10. Oh man, that's uh, that's pretty high up. All right, not doing that for a while. Kinda wanna do some more Amiguchi, actually. Haven't done Amiguchi in a while. Yeah, I'm feeling Amiguchi. All right. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. 
So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. What, you just came back? And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Okay. She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Okay, so we, we've already done Touch Kisaragi. We've done Meet Miura and Passageway. And we've done To the Cafeteria. So what are we gonna do this time? To the casino? I wonder if Yuki-chan's here. Aha! Yuki-chan! <sighs> Quit following me! Whoa. Let's go to that tunnel again. Yeah. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this story. Come on. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Come on, dude. Slow down. Come on. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Hold on. How could you possibly? What bigger fish? Yeah, I agree. Because what we found was a huge fish, man. What's bigger than that? <sighs> I got detention. Detention? I kind of bombed the quiz. I mean, so bad that they're saying my test scores and my transfer paperwork don't make sense. Usually I'd just ditch, but I just got into the same school as Nachan. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. Yuki, the school's not real! Who gives- Whatever. Alright, let's go to... This is the way to the cafeteria, right? <sighs> Could use a sugar boost. Yeah. To the break area! Yeah, pick me up should do it. Okino, do you live here? This is Yuki-chan's favorite. Can't go wrong. Time to hide it in a secret place afterwards. A little sweet, a little sour. So Man, says I Mr. Stewart. That. Okay, let's think about this. Yeah, I only really see this going one way. I tell someone and they dump me in a psych ward. So what can I do? Ami Gucci yeah. Oh, hey, Kurabi-kun. <laughs> Alright, I really like this. This is cool. Could we hang out again today? Yeah. You got it. Let's see. Why don't we go to your place this time? Ah! Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but, well, right now... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I want to talk to him. Where is he? I have a guest staying over the things are a little can i skip oh i can skip because i saw it on the other uh, other path that's neat all right let's go let's go bro all right who's playing the game oh no one's playing the game it's playing itself done already <laughs> sorry looks like all we've got is soda thanks honey gucci -kun. I think that's the same, isn't it? So when it was from Jura's perspective, it stayed on the game the whole time, but here he changed the channel and didn't realize it? Okay. It's getting dark. That dude has some power then, huh? We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Aw, oh, that means I'm going to have to pay for mine too. Yeah, you're right. You are. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Can I skip here too? Yeah, this is really cool. I like this a lot. <laughs> Same place. Nice. Miyuki Inaba. Huh. <sighs> oh. Time for me to talk to my imaginary friend. Maybe I could tell Kurabe-kun about the TV stuff? He's one of the only people who might believe me. But how do I even bring it up? Don't want to get this wrong. I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear, I'll just come off as a crazy fanboy. Actually, maybe I better keep my mouth shut. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Ah, he was just thinking about it. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh, do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. 
Hey Joe, food question for you. Let's say you go to a nondescript sandwich chain and you have a coupon for a sandwich. They make you the sandwich and then ask you to scan the coupon, at which point you discover the coupon is expired and you can't use it. The coupon is was close to 50% off. Do you still get the sandwich? Absolutely, I still get the sandwich, yeah. Of course I do, yeah. How is this even a choice? I'm not going to go through the, the embarrassment of I just made a mistake and didn't check. And now you just made the sandwich for nothing, rung it up, and now I'm just going to waste it by just walking away. I, I mean, I like to eat food. Uh, sorry, I like to waste food, but not that much. Like, this this is a this is a, a me problem. Yeah, I still got to take my L. Yeah, you got to take the L. Yeah, you got to. You got to take the L. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? <sighs> Well, anyhow, want to get food? We could swing by the video store, pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of, before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci-fi one. This story was meant for you. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Wait, hold on, what? Yeah, for you and me. What? Is that different? Memory transfer complete. Ooh, and they were roommates. Man, the robot android faces permanently look like they just saw Mori and Mura walk into a room, huh? Damn. Now, open your eyes, Juro. Ooh, it's Juro. Or maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Do you recognize me? Tetsuya Ida. Or at least an older version of him. I see how it's gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. Oh, he's dead. 426. Is Juro really 426? How do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs. Not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. Ooh. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero, brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're going to have a little chat about your research. What do you want to know? Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the interlocitor, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success, but all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Ran out of hard drive space. Happens all the time. Did you hit some snag with the method? Uh-oh, pain receptor time. Okay. Maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Inflict pain. This the shittiest James Bond movie? How have you hooked him up to the fucking internet? Like, keep him local. Like, what? What the Ethernet cord in the back of his head? Like, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Like, what? So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then it wastes me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Can't afford the risk. What's wrong? I found out from Morimura-san. 
Uh-oh. You're trying to transplant my mind, aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. The, the, the she's not dead then, is she? So why do you have to do it? What are you talking about? Ida, what the fu- <laughs> Your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <laughs> you know she's dead. The girl you're talking to. She's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. <laughs> Juro just hanging out in the background listening to this. <laughs> Hacking his way through the mainframe. Here I go. Like, <laughs> Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if, even if you steal her body and transfer my mind. Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you, but I can't support you. I can't support this. Uh, that explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. Uh-oh. Just standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. He's right. God damn it. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. He could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi, prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. Tough. What? We're both his means to an end. Oh, okay. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. <laughs> Waifu of Theseus. <laughs> nice. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions, but we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. They're mine now. Paranoia getting to you. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. Why are we letting him cook? I've heard enough. Yeah, okay, thank you. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here. We're the same. Are just data. Yeah. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life. Just like you did to me. <sighs> I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me. <sighs> That's right. Better watch carefully. Never know what might happen. Is he gonna jump into her now? There. Deleted. That should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. Please, please talk with his voice now, please. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> you know he was just... Alright, she's not saying anything. Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Oh! Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? <sighs> what happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, son. Sorry, but I need this body more than you do. Alright, they're just riffing over there, huh? Oh, whoops. I must have fallen asleep watching a video. Whoopsie doopsie. Looks like Karabe-kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ah, uh, the dream just now. Feels like it started off the end of the last one. Hmm. I think the tape was kind of odd, right? You saw the video. 
Hey, man, I'm not even surprised anymore. Are you still the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Past? Wait, that happened in the past? You're still talking about that movie I watched, right? Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... he's the same as you, watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea, he doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. <laughs> he doesn't know th or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talked to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. Hmm. So Karabe-kun's watching the past, too. Is that what these weird dreams are? Yes. So, wait. All these dreams look pretty futuristic. You're saying they were in the past? I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Is there a plan? Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? <laughs> Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't going to be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. Okay. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Whoa. Man, they're really teasing us out, huh? All right, do we want to go to the tension or do we want to do Jiro Karabe? Ooh. Did we just... Did we just get that? Spectre... Oh, we just did that! You know what? Let's jump over to Ryoko. Of course. Nurse's office, too. We did this already. Easy. Hey, more, Mira. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Answer the question. 1985. Hey, Sekigahara. Eikun is a year younger than me and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? Hey Joe, I was wondering if you're gonna play Jedi Survivor on stream when it's out. Really enjoyed your Fallen Order playthrough back then. Hell yeah, we are! As close to day one as we possibly can. Hell yeah, I'm really excited. I'm I'm super pumped about Jedi Survivor. I hope that the Stormtroopers are still as stupid as they were in the first game. If Aesaki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida. About Mr. Ida, where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle. You don't remember? Wait, what? <laughs> Are you all right? <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. Okay, where am I supposed to go here? How do I get back to Nurse's Office 1? I'm stuck in the sequel. All right, so I'm going to go exit the hallway, staircase, empty cafeteria, and then here. All right, do I do I ditch uh, Ida? Maybe. Wait, your go-to, you're not Ida. Fuck. Stop following me. That's not. Okay, so we get him distracted, then we then we run away. Or right, run away. Kisaragi san. Is there something I can help you with? Are you the real one though, or are you the robot? Whoa. Did you just I I Okay, exit the hallway to the no. to the staircase, right? Well, this way? Oh, what sort of women do you like? The schoolyard vending machines. Alright, the, the the stairs are there, I think. The stairs the stairs go there. Shit. Shh. Shit. Oh no. What sort of women do But I took my pills. Senpai? Okay. Empty cafeteria. Let's go, cafeteria. Take the pills? No, we're not taking the pills. Use the pills. Alright, now empty cafeteria. Alright, cafeteria. And then something happens. Yuki? Empty. I guess they're done selling. <sighs> My head. It hurts. That girl. Shinonome. What are you doing? 
What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU, too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. <sighs> it's empty. That was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. The nurse's office should have some. Okay, the amount of pills she needs is kind of stupid. Four Eyes has something on you. Okay, where are we go? Oh, I fucking oh my god! All right, so that's why you've been forced into being a spy for him. Four eyes. Tetsuya Ida from the Special Investigations Unit. Uh, Mr. Ida, but why would he? Okay, so let's not take a pill. You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here in the science room? Can you remind me? What in the hell? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up, the gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. When the hell does this happen? Okay. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Yes. Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Ugh. But... Whoa. You having feelings for another girl? Oh, damn. I can't accept that. Uh-oh, shiny anime glasses. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside, like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. How the f hell does, like, I'm a Gucci grown-up lab coat version turn into this? What? This doesn't feel right at all. Yeah. You're confused. I am, yeah. Stun mode deactivate. Uh oh <sighs> Wait, Shinonome-kun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Deserved. So, do you remember now? No, there's no way. I shot him? Yep, then you booked it out of there. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. The music. No. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. His head was just gone. It's one of those slow explosions, too, that we got to see all of his skull fragments shoot off. And it looked like he had some metal in there at the same time. It was kind of weird. I don't know what to tell you. It was, it was really drawn out. It, lo it looked like an Italian kitchen back there. You know, it was really bad. Might even be dead. I'm out of pills. When did you run out of pills? I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? A recording. A recording of what? Me. No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. Uh. There's no time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. <laughs> Mr. Edis vlog day one. <sighs> All right, I've started this video vlog just to tell you exactly how much I really hate Ryoko Shinonomi. She's so annoying. God, she never leaves me alone. All right, day two. Another day of Ryoko Shinonomi just fucking follow me around like a fucking lost puppy. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> Edis vlog day 75. I can't take it anymore. Just fucking Ryoko just. I've just I've decided to use her instead of just going along with it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, log three, two, one, four. And the next one is research on AI? Oh, the data's gone. 
Strange. The log just ends here? The most recent log is from three years ago. Hmm. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Posing. Good thing I had my gun. Yeah, posing, everybody. These pills are hard to swallow. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. This isn't a surveillance camera. This is Ida's I Hate Ryoko log. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Lori Mura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. Oh, it's it's so it's a podcast about how much they hate you. <laughs> She's the worst, right? Yeah. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage. <laughs> you, you see how she eats too? It's so annoying, right? Yeah, it is. Jamie, pull that shit up. <laughs> look, look at how she eats spaghetti. It's terrible. I know, man. It's so bad. <laughs> I'll find out who deleted the locks. All right, let's watch. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. Why is his voice different? You made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another right away. Okay. You should make bodies for the others instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible by putting our bodiless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be, the UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Yukuna, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No, absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Yukuna. Tomi. Please, put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. Damn, he really loved those streams, huh? It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, None of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. Delightfully de devilish, Setsuna Ida. Okay. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Okay, this was the log that we saw? Really? Oh, okay. This was this was not as uh, good as I thought it was going to be. Where did Delightfully Devilish come from? Uh, it's from the Steamed Hams meme, which is, uh, well, it's not from the meme, it's from The Simpsons, but it's popularized by by the meme. The principal says it in the, in the skit. It's time for fun. Okay, many modified drum mine kaiju will appear. Alright, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but we should definitely take uh, Hijiyama and, and Miura because um, because the bonus objective wants us to. I think we'll take we'll take Iori. You like when Natsuno comes along, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we don't want we don't necessarily need to take Yuki. Out there. Although taking Yuki might be a good idea. Oh, not chance coming. All right, so there you go. So we'll do that. All right, so we'll do one more. Do we want to take Amiguchi? Yak, uh, Megami, or do you want to take another Gen 1 boy? It's definitely between them. Is Demo Blade good against the drums? I don't think so. Maybe? 
What, what do you have? Honestly, having a shield that we can jump down in case in case um, something awful happens might be uh, might be a good idea. Interceptors is not bad. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's, let's take uh, let's take Seki Gahara. <sighs> Let's take Seki Gahara. Okay, so who are we, um, what are we upgrading? Let's see. Demo Blade. Okay, who have we not upgraded for a while? Seki Gahara? Oh, you get something different when we get that, when we get you up. Alright, what do we get for, for getting four in a rush attack? Let's see. We get Hurricane Rush. A high speed, double fisted barrage, attacks surrounding Kaiju several times. Is that better than Demo Blade? Hmm. Setup movement. Yeah, let's just take it and see what it's like. All right, we're also gonna upgrade um, someone else's stuff. All right, sentry gun. Definitely want to upgrade the sentry gun because we, we we're still gonna use it. Oh, plasma arc fusion cutter like does something. You know what? Let's get it. Plasma wrecker armament has been unlocked. Plasma wrecker launches plasma at ground kaiju within an area in front of the sentinel. Ignores armor and slows movement. That's 60 times 60. That's 240 times 50. Huh. Is that a lot? Let's put them both on. All right. Natsuno. Missile rain kind of sucks. <laughs> but you know what? If there's a lot of drum, maybe it's going to be fine. Uh, long range missiles is pretty good. What do we get for getting main battery railgun up? Wide range railgun. Fires a large round directly in front of the wide area at high speed through ele electromagnetic induction. One, okay, so this is just a, a, a much uh, wider, lesser damage, but it'll hit more targets railgun. That's kind of cool. All right, are we ever going to use um, EMP stunner? I don't think so. Let's get rid of EMP stunner. What, are we ever going to use six, six multi-launching rapid cannons? Like, I know that's zero e EP, but it, it kind of sucks. Maybe we should take that instead. Like, when are we ever going to... Like, we'll just we'll just defend, right? All right, let's upgrade it. All right, not too bad. All right, what about um, the rest of the people? You have you have super large missile. You have main rail gun. Oh, we have some upgrades to do here with anti-air bombardment and e EMP stunner here, too. Okay, let's go over here. Leg spike. What do you have? Shield matrix. Really? You get something from shield matrix? Composite ceramic armor is probably pretty good. Uh, quad lead spikes. Leg spikes are... It's got to be better, right? Yeah, it's just like it's just like strictly better. Not really though, but yeah. All right, what else can we get? Long range missiles. All right, here we go. How many different tracks are there for this? Shut up, Juro. They spike the D-Force's threat identification signals. It makes them think it's a high-priority target. They can draw attention away from us as a decoy unit. It was a decoy. That can distract the enemy away from us and the terminals. The EMP equipment on the first gens can get us some breathing room, too. Though it tends to draw their attention instead of diverting it. It can be a risky move. A true soldier faces his foes head-on with pride. I couldn't ask a better chance at glory. Focus. Alright, so these are in a... We're right in the middle. Shit. Alright, you know what? Let's plop the sentry gun preemptively over here. All right. Intercept early, intercept often. No room for hesitation. Number 11. Let's go again. on the move. What to do? I am unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Number 12, moving out. Okay, you get your long range pretty much, and you are also long range. So I think we're good to just sit back and wait now. How's the sentinel? Oh wait, aren't these going to be drums? Uh oh. My turn now. I guess life comes at you fast. Don't let up. What the hell are all those? Are those fly? Are they flying? Oh no! All right. Uh, long range missiles. Quickly, take them all out. How was that? All right. Do we want to do? 
Do we want a mega railgun this thing right now? I don't think we do actually. Hold on. What what was the one that we got with um oh it was on it was on Natsuno, right? Alright, does doing a tackle knock them in and make them explode? Let's see, if I tackle this thing, will it will it explode after I knock it away? What the hell happened there? What? That was weird. Here we go. Okay, so again, a bunch of flying ones. I wish I had known that. Um, I mean, I could just EMP them all down right now, but I think that's kind of a waste of uh, of, of this dude. So, when I can I can hit some of the uh, the drum mines instead. Hmm. All right, what is this wide range? Oh, wow, look how wide. We even get to move a little bit before we use it. Oh, I kind of want to see it. What's it, you think it's going to be good? Yes. Oh, oh, that's awesome, I like that. Number 11, not throwing away my shot. All right, super large missile. We have to use it at some point in the fight for the meme, right? Why have, oh, you know what? Let's let's see what happens when this lands. Stay calm. My turn. All right, not throwing away super my large shot. missile. Ooh, or, or, <laughs> alright, you know what, pretty good against like medium chunky targets, uh, even though it's not a back attack, it should still kill it, right? Almost certainly. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess life comes at you fast. Take this. I'm fighting it. Bow down. Oh, you're still alive over there. Should we do a missile rain for fun? No, let's not do it for fun. Uh, let's do de deploy type 98. I didn't really see what those did. It'll be okay. Definitely. Maybe they're just around the shit. All right, long range. Okay, the sentry gun's gonna kill that. Kind of feeling we just we just sit back and wait for the next one to spawn before we do anything here. All right, missile rain. Oh, why? Oh, wait, hold on. If we wait, if we wait one second, we will get two. Okay, are you exploding? Well, I no can I knock you back and you'll explode? Good. Yeah! Oh, that did nothing. Okay, cool. Okay, you're you're just exploding all by yourself right now. Let's kill you just in case. All right, come on. One more second. All right, here we go. Missile rain. Joe, I beg you to punch something instead of doing Demo Blade once. Ha 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 ha, no. All right, should we... Should we? I'll make it work. Don't waste any chances. Hmm, it's not looking good. Are right, you know what? I, I think that the shits are gonna take care of that. What's the let's plan? go. Let's go over here. Number eleven. Let's EMP. Oh, oh! Oh, you know what? We never used the plasma wrecker or the plasma fusion cutter. Is that good? Let's try it. Oh wow. My turn now. It's pretty good. Come on. How was that target destroyed? My spirit stuff. And it's AoE, and it was AoE. Practice 
Oh man, they're pretty they're pretty tough against this shit. Alright, Mega Railgun? We're not gonna be able to do this. Will this kill it? It didn't really do that much damage last time. Yeah, it didn't. You messed with the wrong stormtrooper. That's a good idea. Actually, what do we know about this self-defense mechanism? Universal control oversees the world through the terminals, but the defense functions refuse to respond when the terminals are under kaiju attack. The mainframe would go down without even noticing it was compromised. So when it comes to the kaiju, the system's paralyzed? That's one way to put it. And Operation Aegis is about covering for that weakness. The Deimos attacks open up vulnerabilities so they can attack the terminals. We exploit those same vulnerabilities with some low-grade hacking to provoke the terminal's security and trigger the defenses ourselves. The Aegis system activates and the terminal locks out the Kaiju intrusion. If the threat of the Deimos is too subtle for detection, then we simply present a more obvious one. So it's a ruse. Like sounding a fire alarm with no fire to get people bounding out of their bunks. But the but there really is a fire though. Like you should be doing this ahead of time, but then there wouldn't be combat. This is dumb. I don't think this makes sense. Familiar shenanigans. Isn't that why they used to call you a no account rascal? Ooh. At any rate, that's why we can't activate it until the D forces are close enough to the terminals. Oh, okay. We made it. Wow, no one took any damage. God damn. Ho oh, ho, perfect. Nah, I don't want to see the next wave. What is it though? Various long range specialized kaiju will appear. Hmm. Karabi Yakushiji on the strike team. Yakushiji. Okay. We have to fight him. I'll go. What did um Mayura just get? Defense increases when HP de decreases. Okay, all right. How many points, how many chips do we have? 33,000, okay. All right, back to the story. Who are we doing next? Kind of feeling Yuki? Oh. Natsuno did just get a, um, a thing. You know what, let's do it. Uh-huh. Huh? Where'd he go? I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. In it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet. And we are those creations. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? <laughs> Why would you jump to that? I mean, you're right, but... What if they implanted something in me? <laughs> hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. Yes, this, this is the time you're overthinking. At least for now. There's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. If I can find this Sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. Turns out, he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. The agents continued to lurk around the school. They gotta be searching for something. And I think I know. I'm almost sure of it. They still think BJ is an alien. Whoa! Wow, you actually stayed hidden this time. Hey, so... You mentioned something once. That we're the ones who are aliens. That this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. Okay. I understand. Being awfully quiet, bud. BJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI, only integrated into a Sentinel. There was an incident. Incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miura-kun called you a, a piece of Sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. The sentinel you're searching for, 
There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm gonna be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Yes, you know. Well, now that that's settled... This is certainly no time to be training. Let's go find it, little guy. <laughs> Again, Natsuno? I... Uh, listen, I'd really appreciate it if... If I didn't tell Senpai? Ryoko? Huh? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is, there's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Uh, maybe a stray cat got in. <laughs> Imagine caring no. this much about school. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. I wonder... Were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. Yeah. Take out BJ. Oh man. I thought we were gonna order in. We're here. Oh, okay. Sector one, two, three. Ooh, let's go sector one. Sector one. Where could Nepal? Let's go to You wanna look there again? What year is it in sector one anyways? Oh, I skipped that thing. He was going to be nothing. Never mind. Second century. Let's go. This is the only room with the lights on. I'm really surprised that uh, Natsuno and BJ's big time travel adventure doesn't get interrupted more often. Hey BJ, you said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is too inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? No. It was the government's last ditch effort after the city was destroyed. Oh, okay. And we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> what have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... memories. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. Seventy-two percent of them have been deleted. They've been tampered with. Wait, what? 72% have been, uh, deleted? Memories? Twice. Possibly more. By who? Unknown. Though, in all likelihood, the memory of the Sentinel's location was deleted then. In this facility is this era's largest quantum computer. Uh-oh. If anyone were to store memories here, they would be at least 300 meters below. What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. Hide. What do we do? Who are they? Unknown. They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide. Quickly. Wait for me! What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is... Problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain is lethal. That program, the one that severs the code, that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right. Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Two loops ago? Hmm? Two loops ago. I've forgotten. We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. Uh oh. The shifting range isn't just limited to. Okay, it's been more than that, or you think it's been less than that? What do you mean restarted? Hmm. Residential zones. Sector zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Where did you get all this information from? 
from the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? Yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. Wasn't that Chihiro-chan? And Goto-senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? <laughs> Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. I saw Goto-senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel too. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro-chan, right? Miura-kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there, and there was something different about her. Goto-senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. She is. Oomphy Boomphy PhD. Hey, VJ? I located it. It huh? was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently. I predicted all of this. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Alright. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cash somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. Money? You need cash? Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cash, 9.216 million data units were found. Alright, that's not a lot. If I were to trace every unit, I need about 80 days. Okay. I must have left some kind of hint, something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters. BJ! As well as two numerical values. It's, it's BJ! BJ17! I know I left two letters, huh? Back when we first met, I just assumed BJ was your name. But maybe... BJ, <laughs> that's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. Wait, let me think. Yeah, it was something like BJ11... BJ11-5. So, was that it? Yes, I've located it. Oh, right! And? And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So, where is it? At an altitude of 500 kilometers. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes, in an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like, in space? I cannot access it from here. Why not? Let's go. Where? To space? Yes. To the place Renya Goto mentioned. The UFO. All right. Let's go, Mayura. Uh, yeah, let's go, Mayura. Shihiro. Shihiro. Ooh. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Shihiro from me. He might be the same guy that Tamao-san gets her pills from. According to Natsuno-san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. Yeah. It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. What's that? The idea of two similar parallel worlds. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Are we morbing instead of time traveling? Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. If he's in 1985, then Chihiro will be with him. 
Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him, and I'm going to get Chihiro back. Thank you also to Sausage Roll Gamer that just subscribed right now for the first time. Welcome, Sausage Roll Gamer. Do I have a game for you? It's called Baba Is You. I think you'd like it a lot. Renya Goto is Natsuno san's senpai. He also attends the school in 1985. And according to BJ, he's from even further into the future. We did this one already. It's weird that it won't let me skip sometimes. <sighs> Miyurakun. Natsuno san. Fluffy. Megami. Chiro. Yuki. Natsuno. Perfect timing. I was just about to go looking for you. Same here. I've been worried about you, Miyurakun. That was some rough stuff. I can't even imagine how you must be feeling. You okay? Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? What? That might be a little tough. We met him already, didn't we? Goto Senpai has him in back on campus. I asked around and no teacher knows where he lives. He lives at the school? Well, that's a problem. He didn't? He did. He, he met him at, when he saw Chihiro at the park. He was there. Ah, uh, zombie! Done with practice already? Oh. Dino said, yeah, but with the context, surely you would be like, that must have been him. What, what he said there. You have that picture of Goto Senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? Ooh. Hey, not so loud. Sorry, sorry. So do you have it? Yeah. Yes, this is it. Miyurakun, look, I've got a picture of Goto Senpai. Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. Cute guy. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. Oh, there you go. Okay. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Chihiro. So he lives at the park. Okay. Chihiro? It really is you, isn't it? Please say something. Uh. Shihiro. Uh. I found this. It survived uh. the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. Uh. Uh. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big, big brother. Don't lose it again, all right? she pretending right now okay so she had she had the rabbit in the last scene so this was this that came after this did she have the rabbit in her bag when they were in wrecked to 2025 hmm i won't chihiro it really is you i'm so relieved you're safe i suppose it's true it's not like my memories were displaced my blissful dependency is your little sister oomphy boomphy activate it's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Chihiro? This world is imperfect. Are you okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. <laughs> I'm Chihiro Morimura. Behold. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret, yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone, wouldn't you, Goto-kun? I didn't expect to see you here. Renya Goto, what the hell did you do to Chihiro? <sighs> I don't appreciate the hostility, but what you see here is Chihiro in her original- Bruv, are you seriously being like, you don't talk to me that way? This is a really fucked up situation that Miura is in, and understandably, he's a little upset. Are you are you serious? You guys are handling this so badly. What the fuck? Like, like actually hit him and just take your little sister away would be the appropriate response here. But you guys are like making this so much worse than it needs to be. Like, what the fuck? No state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up. I'm not listening to a word you say. I won't forgive you. And I will avenge Tamao-san. I believe you misunderstand the situation. 
Chihiro, listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where exactly? Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> If we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> hmm. Is everything prepared, Gotokun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <sighs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way. Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. Of course. <laughs> and I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Hey, Sekigahara. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Sekigahara. Did he travel through time too? Is that how he got here? Oh, that's the end. It's not the end. Tamao-san. What are you two doing? Juro's dad says what? The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji, and she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Saiki Gahara-san, please. I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents, and that I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie, but... I think that explains the dreams I keep having. When do, when do we get, like, chapters with her? Like, holy shit. She's tampered with your memories. <sighs> He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says, Tamao-san. We should just turn him in. Keitaro-san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in, Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. <laughs> the future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. <sighs> his consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. All right. Then, Keitaro-san is... A fake! One and the same. I've had enough of this nonsense. You, come with me. I'm taking you in. Don't move. Uh, Sekigahara-san! You bastard! Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak. Dun dun dun! Ooh! Alright, we, we unlocked it. Yes. All right, but we're gonna do someone else. All right, these two are at 75. Uh, oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a while. A god is cleared. Uh, Emi Gucci might not be a bad one. We haven't done Yuki in a while. Oh, going over to I. Yeah, let's go over to I. Understood. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Okay, today we are going to Cryptic Note. That student I saw in front of the school gate. She's Natsunomi Nami. She's likely already gone home by now. I'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. These numbers are for the message service. Oh One yeah! One is the user number, and the other is the password. Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> Welcome to Cracking the Cryptic today. I lost my memories. Let's get cracking. The uh, the Tetris one that they had um, the other day was really good. Uh, the one they did last night with Fist MFLs, I, I couldn't do it. I might try a little bit more um, later on, but I couldn't do it. It was, it was too uh, high IQ for me. The Tetris one was really good, though. 
There was a couple other ones I did recently. I think I've improved quite a bit. I'm still pretty shit, but I've improved to the point that most of the time, no matter the length of the video, I can do it now. It might take me a while. Oh, the, a Sudoku with no visible cells. There was two of them recently. I did those. Um, I didn't even try to do the April Fool's one. What the fuck is Cracking the Cryptic? Cracking the Cryptic is a YouTube channel where they do primarily variant Sudoku. Variant Sudoku is my favorite thing. What was the other one that was pretty good? Perfect Fog. Yeah, that one was pretty hard. Usually the ones that have to do a lot a lot with um with math, I can't do as well. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. Upside down. Hey. Oh, turns out I was wrong. There are no outcomes where this ends well. My advice to you is to stop living in the past. You're responsible for your own future now. Hey, it's me. Well, you. Disregard that. I imagine you're pretty confused right now, hearing this message, unable to remember a thing. <sighs> so, I've entrusted a message to a good friend of ours. If you seek him out, you'll likely find him with Natsunomi Nami. <sighs> Looks like I'm out of time. Above all else, finish the job. It's for my, for your sake. Sake. Understood? Yes. What does that mean? Okay, would the message service, when you call, would you get the messages in the order that they were recorded, or would you get the most recent to least recent? I think you would get the most recent, right? Turns out I was wrong. So this is this is the most recent. So this this came in. This was recorded after. Hey, it's me. Well, you. Hmm. Okay. Depends on how they did it in 1980s Japan. Well, luckily we have all of the 1980s Japan uh, experts in the world in chat. How would they do it, chat? If that message from myself was true, then Natsunomi Nami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Now, how should I approach this? I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsuno Minami. They look at the nurse's ass. Did you know that in Japan, the 1980s, no matter where you were, you could still see the nurse's ass? But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsunomi Nami? Yes. I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Okay. What are you gonna do for the rest of the night? Hmm. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Why do you like her? Cute girl. Hello. Hello. Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. I'd better stay out of sight. They must be trying to pin me down here. Guess I'm staring clear of the track room for now. <sighs> Excuse me, where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? No. Nope. <sighs> um, we have... Alright, just, just to be, um, you know, full disclosure chat, like, about ten minutes ago, I got hit by, like, just, like, an overpowering, like, like wave of exhaustion i'm so tired all of a sudden but uh, if i'm yawning or if i get quiet it's not the game it's it's me it's like having something of a sleep attack i think i'm so tired stuff we need to do so if you don't need anything we'll be leaving now all right i'm looking for a student by the name of natsuno minami oh minami she went for a run around the school oh she hasn't come back yet yep that's right around the school we can end after this section if you need nah I'll, I'll be able to perk up just like i might be quiet for a little bit 
Got it. Thanks. That's... Do you both know each other? I can't remember. She's the one who delivered that package to me. Right, yeah. The one that contained the message to myself. Thank you for the reminder. Looks like she goes to this school too. Where'd she go? Is she messing with me? <sighs> She's definitely up to something. <laughs> um. Natsunomi Nami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Nachan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Thought it was you! Stop this right now, you two! Fine. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's not a real name. That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. Oh, okay. They're the ones who had it say all those things. Oh, is there a real message on the real BJ? SIU? Under That's the... where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Yes. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> So those black suits wanted me to see that footage, but why? So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes! I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Peta. My dishonesty. You knew all along, didn't you, Miura? You might not know this, but you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? You never asked. You took pity on me. Some things are best left unknown. Okay. I disagree. Fucking robot Miura talking like a magic eight ball over here. Like, all right. I should know about my own past. Signs no point to yes. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Please, Miura, show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research, Chihiro Morimura. What? She's a former executive of Newman Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. Shikishima's project. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc., and that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds, but Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation, and that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <laughs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin, a professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly, and I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find a research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. What? I want the job handled by then, and be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? 
Okay, I'm not sure. Like, I'm fairly... I'm close to sure, but I'm not sure. But like Sekigahara's portrait, that was he was older there, right? Like he's younger right now, or uh, I think so. Like he looked older. Hmm. Not sure. Cute man. Mori is that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her. But more importantly, the hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm an assassin. Yeah, you. Morimura. You knew that. So I really did do it. No, I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No, that can't be right. We done? Cliffhanger? No. There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. I wasn't too worried about you. Knowing you, I figured you'd keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> so tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? You. Someone did his research. Ooh. Your sentinel was the source of the infection. Uh-oh. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Isn't that why you're here? To see how things went in Sector 3? <sighs> what is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on, but it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. Okay, what does that mean, though? If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. Uh-oh. And we can't let that happen. Unfortunately, your city is doomed to forever be in ruins. Not if we loop. If we're unable to loop anymore, yep. that is. <laughs> No. How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. It's the present. They were created when you arrived from another world. This all sounds like nonsense. <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed, especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal, to gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated, and that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. How'd you do that? You're looking rather pale. Perhaps you should take your pills. Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However... There is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? <sighs> yeah, why not? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. 
still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will, once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world, so I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? You can fly drone? it. Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never- To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. This curfew approaches. Alright, so how does the world get recreated? I feel like you're not asking the right questions, Sekigahara. <sighs> Hey, Miura. I'm glad you're okay. Liar. Ooh. Alright. Alright, it might be time. It might be time to do the boring two. Um, maybe we should get Cap, Amaguchi, and Yuki first. Amaguchi's probably got one more left in him before... Oh, Yuki was in the last cool. team. Let's go Yuki. Probably still watching me, just waiting to use me. <sighs> Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten, but she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. Just got here, you enjoying the game so far? Yes, very much so, it's very good. Kunachan was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it. That projector I hid looks a lot like a box, too. Could it be the same one? I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me to get to the organization behind the scenes. There's a chance you selected the most confusing route? Um, I don't think it's been that confusing. It seems like a pretty, like, there's a lot of layers to it, don't get me wrong, but in terms of, like, building a mystery, like, often with stories, you just kind of have to go with the flow and just hope that it makes sense at the end. That thing I hid. I need to take a closer look, but I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. Like, having questions there and things are. that aren't resolved yet does not, you I've know, looking for you. mean confused in a negative way. <sighs> don't you have anything better to do? I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? Most sane way, sane shadow way of saying you're playing it wrong. Do people think I'm playing it wrong? I think I'm playing quite well. I'm enjoying it. Get rid of Iba. Hmm. You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes, but I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. Okay, can we leave here without getting rid of Iba? Oh. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Yeah, we saw this already. So? Hmm. Yaki soba palm, please. You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. Squat. Yuki chan! Amiguchi. I'm telling you. Destiny sure wants us to be together. Uh, this again? Is this when we went and saw the outside of the, um, outside the city? Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Yes. 
Nah, I just want something to drink. Gotta keep my mouth occupied. This reminds me of like a song from a Final Fantasy game, I think. Or Chrono Cross, something like that. I can't place it though. How's that hay C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. What the hell do you want anyways? Uh, but no thanks. I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy-haired head of yours? Whoa. How about until you go on a date with me? Oh. I got my bike with me today, so I was thinking. Ooh, a bike? Sounds wonderful. Who's this? Apparently, she's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Sorry, pretty boy, but I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me for being too aggressive, you know. Huh. Yuki-chan, next time's a date for sure. Ugh. <sighs> Well then, shall we? Yeah. Imagine thinking that Tamao's skirt is better than Yuki's skirt. Imagine having that take. Just imagine. All right, like nothing is happening. Maybe we're gonna have to ditch her. Let's go back to the cafeteria. All right, here you go. Time for another drink. I just had a drink not too long ago. Uh, what, what do I do? Okay, can I ditch her in this screen? You're in this. No. All right, someone has to be here. Okay, can't leave. All right, someone's gonna like come out of a, a door. Interview. Interviewing. It's gonna be one of these two doors. Nope. One of these. Jo Why am I being Jode? Did you soft lock yourself? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so no one's coming out any of the classes. There's no one here to talk to. Talking to her doesn't do shit. Me, if I talk to her, something else will happen. Inter mm, the word has Interviewing. Such a Did I have to not use it on her? Oh, okay. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Later. Smells like mold in here. Man, she has such a Chad walk, doesn't she? Like, look at this go. Dun, 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 dun. It's in here. There it is. It's literally the virgin walk? No, that's uh, Seki Gahara does that. It's somehow able to project things. <sighs> How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? Hmm, maybe there's a power switch somewhere. Nope. Can't find one. I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Aha. Uh -huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. He's so cute. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Cute guy. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. <laughs> Eiseki Gahara. More like THE Seki Gahara. I don't think I'm that bad. <sighs> oh, he's dead! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it's you. Hey, old guy. I didn't kill him. He's just unconscious. Hey, hands off! Get away from my box! Right. Do you even know what this is? This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura, do you know who I am? <laughs> you got your memory back. Where am I? Wait, what? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left 
behind. Did you say not to know? All right, sorry. I thought that we were looking for the the other box, not this box. I thought there were two boxes. All right, maybe I'm just maybe I missed something there. Or I'm confused. Okay, so this one Natsuno was missing. All right. Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya, but that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory. She is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Tokisaka Shrine. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. Hmm, were these dead ends? No, the box old school building. Okay. You don't mean... Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Yeah, okay, clock. Where are we? Where's Nachon? Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachon been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. But Sekigahara, you're forgetting. It's Nachon. She's really dumb. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. She wouldn't be able to open the cans. Oh, oh, no. I hope she hasn't gone someplace dangerous. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. Duh. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? I mean, last time we saw them, they weren't even attacking people. Like, they just didn't give a shit. They just moved through the city. But okay. The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels. We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on time. So? What'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth! If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. What do you mean? Like, what, we're gonna we're gonna more back to the school now? What? Uh -huh. How does that work? Back to the roof? Ditch ditcher again? What? We just we said no one left. What? What if she's alone, shivering, scared in that ruined city? I won't give up on her. A city in ruins, and this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits. Named Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. So the box I thought was a projector was actually... Uh, my, my best friend's his childhood is stuck in the future and I'm literally the only single person in the whole entire world according to my knowledge that can go to the future to see where she is because we're the only ones that know that she's lost but you know need to take a break better go back home and and make sure that my cover at the high school isn't fucking blown and do a full fucking school shift and then go back for another shift in the fucking 2060 mines to see if I could fucking find her just stay there and look for her you monster what are you doing you're talking machine Nachan wrote in her notebook. She must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. We finally 
they found out where Nachan is, she's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. It's implied they were looked for her for a while. Yeah, they didn't look for her long enough though. You wanna know how I know that? Cause they didn't fucking find her. All right, are we gonna go to the cafeteria? All right, let's go get a juice box. You want something? <laughs> Nothing for me. You know what? Not Chan's missing. Pacey was a favorite. At this time, at a time like this, we have to go with the milk coffee. It would be too rude to drink her favorite juice while she's missing. Yuki Chan. Today's not good either. Aww. See ya. Man, ice cold. Yeah, ice cold coffee with milk. All right, do I have to ditch her again? How do I do that? How do I do that again? I like use. I thought about that this guy. old school building, right? Right. So, so, no, ruined future. No, I can't get rid of her. What do I do? Oh. Oh, Takamiya-san, I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know. If you need help with anything, come and see me anytime, all right? Kamao-san, I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? Uh. God damn, man. God damn. Morimura gave this note to me. Oh. Shit. She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Aiba. All right. Sorry, Natsuno. You're gonna have to wait. There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me. Certainly. New background? No, we see this one before. Where are we going? Oh, we saw this one in 2060. Actually, maybe this is a new background. Oh, right. That's very pretty. We're gonna push her off the the bridge. I just wanted to check something. Oh, what is it? So, I ditched class this morning. I went to pay someone a visit. Who? Erica Aiba, in the hospital. Ugh. The real Aiba has been sick. Confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamao. Is Tamao your real name? Lamao? Tamao? Huh. Natsuno's dying, y Yuki. She's dying. Ugh. Well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? Yes. You really are good at this, Takamiya-san. <clears throat> you remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes. But why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Oh, Seki Gahara. Seki Gahara. Hey. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Is that Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her, an android. <laughs> squeaky chair, squeaky life. Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced, meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. Mm. I found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building, the girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? So you're saying a robot destroyed the bathroom? Hmm, you think anyone will believe that? What do you think about the crystallization of gristalin? Gristalin? Glycerin? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but they said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. Mm. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? 
Yes, literally. Yeah. Because the only person who always seems to be around me is you. Oh, Takamiya-san, don't get so worked up. Just, just a string of red lights around us all of a sudden. Like, what's going on? I Rush have no hour idea over. What you're talking about. Did, did ultimate control make the car stop running so we had a better shot here? Like, you're not Erica Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, Oh, huh? man, better and better. I suppose this time, I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. So this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. Wait, and they just let you stand here cooking? Okay, I guess they stopped the cars. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Yes, that's the reason why he's insane. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now, but the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. Oh, damn. Oh, who you jumped to this time? Anyone a robot? Hey, you, you a robot? You a robot? Am I a robot? Am I a robot? Oh, shit, Aiba. Stay back. Wait. It's not dead yet. <laughs> You really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Okay, you guys suck. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. And yet... You know what? I'm so sure of that. There's not even a reason to go down and search to make sure that the body's still crumpled up down there. Let's just all go home. What's that? Police officers, you want to go down and search for the body? No, call it off. Save some time. Go home to your families. There's no way. There's no way he could have survived that fall. Just go home. Case closed. Case closed. I don't even know who's the bad guy here. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Never mind. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Damn. Understood. Are they ever going to find him, though? Aiba. 85%. Oh, okay. So Natsuna Minami is a closed world event. Still having fun. D did that instead of going back to the future to search for a friend. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So we have Natsuna Minami, Mira, and then um, Amaguchi, and then some of the the boring two, and then it's all finales. It looks like finales all the way. Are we gonna have to do like a shit ton of combat all in a row for for level three? You know what? We're not that far behind it. Is there a third level? A second, a third area? Maybe there's not. Maybe it's maybe it's smaller. I'm not sure. Um, I'm actually gonna call it here, chat, because uh, usually we're gonna take break, and um, I've almost fallen asleep three times. Like I actually nodded off with my eyes closed at one point, and this is a very hard thing to follow, and I don't want to miss it because I'm I'm enjoying this very much. So I'm actually gonna call it here. I still got over four hours though, so it's not bad. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for some more. Uh, I don't think we're gonna finish this week unless we do a really like jumbo stream tomorrow. And there's also no like secret extension, which I'm guessing there is going to be like a, like a, a like a couple a multi-hour finale part that's going that we're gonna have to go through. So I don't think so. I think we're probably gonna finish this um, uh, early next week on Wednesday. So I'd rather like take it easy tomorrow than try to rush through it and fail or kind of kind of ruin it a little bit. Uh, but the plan is currently still to play 
play Atomic Heart on Saturday if you want to see us start a new game. I don't know if we're going to play Atomic Heart more than one Saturday, but we're, we'll do it and Saturday and see if it's worth continuing. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good rest of your night. I'm out of here. See you later.